Good morning, ma'am. So this is the report from Group 7 about the historic sites and landmarks recognized by the National Historical Commission of the Philippines. So uh, there are hundreds of sites as well as landmarks are recognized by the National Historical Commission of the Philippines that we are going to tackle later on. But first, let's talk about uh, what is the National Historical Commission of the Philippines or the NHCP. So NHCP is a government agency of the Philippines. So its mission is the promotion of the Philippines' history and agricultural heritage through research. So NHCP promotes uh, historical awareness to everyone, especially among the youth. Then its major functions are the curatorial works, architectural conservation, Philippine health, historical information, dissemination activities, restoration and preservation of relics and memorabilia of heroes and the renowned Filipinos. So as stated in the Republic Act number 10,086, the NHCP is the responsible for the conservation and preservation of our history and country's historical legacies. So NHCP is also the safeguards or the caretaker of our country's historical legacies. Why historical sites and landmarks important in the study of history? Uh, it is very important in the study of our history because it is the way to connect us true to our past. Uh, through visiting these places where history occurs, we find our roots and we know what is really happened in our history. And to give us a uh, historical awareness and knowledge uh, and to give credit to our heroes that sacrifices their lives to our freedom and to feel like we're part of that history. Some historical sites and landmarks of the Philippines. For example, is Aguinaldo Shrine, located in Kawit, Cavite. The Aguinaldo Shrine was the home of the youngest president of the Republic of the Philippines. And it's where the first Philippine flag was waved that symbolized the country's independence in 1898. You can example Bagumbayan, <clears throat> also known as Lotina Park. Bagumbayan is the one of the most historical attraction in the Philippines. And National Historical Shrine in the Philippines this is because the national hero Dr. Serizal was executed in 1896 after he fought for the country's freedom from the Spaniards through his articles, essays, and novels. For the third example, Fort Santiago, uh, one of the most notable Philippines landmarks. Uh, an important historical sites in the Philippines, Fort Santiago in Intramuros, Manila. It was the place where Dr. Jose Rizal was held and prisoned before his execution. Hundreds of lives were lost in the Philippines landmarks. So during Spanish colonial period and World War II, the fourth example is Intramuros is the oldest and the historic core of Manila and built with the defensive wall against foreign invasion hence being called the walled city. Here you can see the preserved Spanish colonial structures from government office to the residential areas and souvenir shop. The Pitan the Rizal Shrine in the Pitan, Sambonga del Norte, is one of the most historical places in Mindanao. This is where Dr. Jose Rizal spent for four years, so patkatuig sa yahang pag spend sa Sambonga del Norte. And uh, four years of exile when he was accused of planning the revolution against Spanish 
role. So, Rizal Shrine in Zamboanga del Norte is one of the most important landmark. One of the most important landmark in the Philippines. It's a string. This is where the historic and world known people power revolution took place in 1896 to oust the late Ferdinand Marcos Sr. and stop the martial law. The people power revolution is one of the world's most historic events because the uprising was peaceful, bloodless, and successful. You see, a few notable monuments in the Philippines and near the Isa Shrine. Leti Landing Memorial Park, also known as the Mark Arthur Leti Landing Memorial Park, is one of the most famous monuments in the Philippines that commemorates the historic arrival of General Douglas MacArthur in Leti Gulf to free the Philippines from Japanese occupation on October 20, 1944. Biak Nabato Another historical place in the Philippines is the Biak Nabato in San Miguel, Bulacan. This is the famous landmark in the Philippines where Emilio Aguinaldo and other um, revolutionar revolutionaries established the Biak Nabato Republic to be free from the Mactan Shrine in, Cib in Cebu has played a huge role in Philippine history. This is the site of the Battle of Mactan, where the Dato of Lapu defeated the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan in 1521. The Mactan Shrine is one of the famous Philippines landmarks and was built in honor of Lapu Lapu. Cultural Heritage Act, Republic Act Number no. 10,066, which created the Philippine Registry of Cultural Property and the rules and regulation to preserve historic buildings that are over 50 years, it was signed into law on March 25, 2009. So, as like in the NHCP or the National Historical Commission of the Philippines, uh, the Philippine Registry of Cultural Property or the PRECOP uh, is also the responsible or who make all the record of the cultural property that is important in our cultural heritage. Aside from these historical sites, landmarks, and shrines, there are other places that can be visited to burden our knowledge of Philippine history and culture, include the government and run and private run museums. So uh, the National Museum complex is composed of the first is the National Museum of Fine Arts or the old legislative building. So the National Museum of Fine Arts is the home of the 29 galleries and hallway exhibitions comprising of 19th century Filipino masters. And the second one is the National Museum of Anthropology or the Old Finance Building. So the National Museum of Anthropology stages the Philippine and underwater archaeological collections narrating the story of Philippines from the past. Then the third one is the National Museum of the Natural History or the Old Agricultural and Commer Commerce Building. So this is has 12 permanent galleries that exhibit the rich biological and geographical diversity of the Philippines. Then the last one is the National Planetarium. So the National Planetarium was the ex established to disseminate astronomical information through various pla platforms and technology such as uh, full drone digital and planetarium shows. Some example of National Museum. UST Museum of Arts and Science. It was located in Santo Tomas Museum, considered as the oldest ex 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 exciting museum in the Philippines was formally established in 1869. The great director of the museum was Rib Casto de Elera. He was born in Mahorca, Spain on July 1, 1852. And the second one is Ayala Museum. It was located in Makati, Metro Manila, Philippines. It is 
run privately by the Ayala Foundation and houses archaeologic, archaeological, intographic, historical, fine arts, nos, numismatics, and ecle, ecclesia, ecclesiastical exhibits. It was established in 1967. And Lopez Museum and Library. Also known as simply the Lopez Museum is a Philippine art and history museum and library located in Ben Press Building Ortegas Complex in Mandaluyo. Kaisa Angelo King Heritage Center. It was located in Intramor Intramoros which highlights or Sinoy or Chinese Filipino heritage. Museum Ilo Iloilo. It was located along Bonifacio Drive in Iloilo City proper. It's the, it's the first government sponsored museum outside Metro Manila. It, it focuses on cultural and historical and artifacts not on not only from Iloilo but also from Panay Island. Juan di Juan di Nipo, 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 Nipo Sino Center for Kapangan Studies focuses on the study of Kapangan language, history, and culture. It was located in the campus of the Holy Angel University in Angeles City, Pampanga established in 2001 cultural cultural center of the philippines also known as the ccp complex it is recognized as a performance performance video which houses art galleries for exhibits and a collection of artworks by recognized filipino artists including those by the national artists of the philippines and that's all thank you